Thank you everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I've got some great info for you. Um, it's going to be a really informative show. If you can stick around to the end of it there, um, you're going to see that uh, you'll definitely have learned something today. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to uh, learn is that, well, Phil's just been a big jerk. Right? <laughs> this whole time. He's just a, just a big jerk, right? He's been lying to us, right? Now, um, you know, I found some stuff, and honestly, like, you, you'll you see that I, I just kind of found it. Because <laughs> I'm surprised as uh, you are going to be by the time we get to the end of the show, right? So, let me just take a break here and get everything lined up, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Just had a little delay there, and had to stop for a minute, but... Um, uh, we're back at it. So, as we can see, the first thing I got from uh, YouTube was in 2007, and then, um, you, you know, I opened these, right, but then I stopped, you know, even opening these messages because they just started to really roll in, right, and um, <laughs> like um, uh, Tim Schmoyer said the other day in his uh, video creators uh, thing there, he's like, what are, who are these weird people watching my videos? Like, I don't get this. Uh, you know, I just put these up there for my friends, right? You know, who are these people? <laughs> so, um, you know, there's a, a lot and a lot of messages that I have never, you know, even opened, right? If it's in blue, it hasn't been ever opened, right? Um, and then uh, I started, I just found all these the other day. They were in some kind of spam folder or something that got you know, blocked out, right, and, uh, you know, I've long forgotten what, uh, you know, I was doing with this thing, um, no, I didn't want to do that, uh, uh, YouTube was a lot different back then, you gotta remember, there wasn't, there wasn't subscribers, and there wasn't, um, uh, the best way to, to follow a channel was, uh, as he said, is to, like, bookmark it, right, and then they had, like, a friend system, right, kind of, uh, anyway, YouTube has changed a lot, right? And again, at the end of this show, I'm going to tell you about the new changes that are happening that uh, I guarantee you don't know about. So, uh, uh, yeah, lots and lots of comments, right? Um, and as I was scrolling through this the, the other day, I just found this folder the other day and, um, and started going through there. And uh, I got a, um, uh, an invitation... We're gonna find it there, right? I to find it. I, I probably passed it, and, and you guys have seen it. Going, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> you know, but it's hard standing here in front of the screen, right? So, uh, 
Hey, let me see if I can find that because there's two channels. There's or there's two things. There's YouTube service and there's this YouTube no reply one there. So hold on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna find you the, the email. <laughs> so here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Turns out I've just been a big jerk because YouTube's been trying to give me money for seven years, you know. And I just said, no, I don't want your money. No, no. I just opened this <laughs> yesterday, this email. I just opened it, right? And uh, so I tried to reply, but you can't reply to this, right? And if I click on this link, it takes me to the new Philip Cochran channel, right? YouTube is like, it sees us as one, but it doesn't see us as one. You know, it's kind of weird, right? And I'm still trying to work out, I've been contacting a few of the different things that they have, right? And I'm, I'm, I feel confident that I'll eventually, you know, um, both of us can get this worked out, right? Maybe, um, you know, I don't think that they're mad at me because they kept my channel active, you know? Um, and they could have just deleted it, right? So, um, and I'm not mad at them, you know, obviously, right? You know, and uh, again, some of the things that I'm going to show you later on in the show are going to show you like, hey, you know, uh, I just didn't understand YouTube maybe, right? And that's why I've gotten frustrated with some of the things on YouTube, right? You know, or how my channel is doing on YouTube or something, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, my bad. There's a couple more videos or uh, uh, emails there too, right? So again, let's hope, uh, you know, Buck Tor and Philip Cochran can come together <laughs> again. <laughs> we are YouTube. So here's another one. And this one's slightly different um, because it, uh, this video had some of Sweet Leaf in it, right? And so... This is when the partnership program was first introduced, I think. So you had the, the you know, again, YouTube has changed, right, over the years. There's been different um, uh, things that have, have happened. And, uh, and like, again, at the end of the show, we're going to tell you more about these, these changes that YouTube makes uh, periodically. Uh, so, yeah, um, you know, my bad again. <laughs> So I think the lesson here to look, look, there's a bunch of, <laughs> apply, apply. I haven't even bothered to open them, right? So no, I don't want your money, you know, YouTube. And, uh, you know, so I guess that's kind of the point is like, um, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's check our spam folders. Maybe there's uh, uh, some, you know, messages from YouTube telling us like, hey, we're trying to monetize you, but uh, we, we can't get a hold of you. <laughs> All right, so let's move on into the, uh, what's going on with YouTube now, right? Okay, so I'm um, up on my uh, channel page right now of uh, Philip Cochran's channel. Um, I can't see any analytics for Buckdoor. I'd like to. It'd be cool. Uh, and I'm uh, just going to show you a couple of um, stats um, and also talk about the numbers, right? And a couple of new YouTube... Uh, some, some things they are changing and some things have actually been changed a while ago, but the effects are now coming, right? So let's just talk about um, gun channel bans for a second, right? They actually started this back in um, uh, last year, like in uh, like October, November. Um, and But they do have some new rules that they're now going to apply. So they have modified the policy, right, for gun channels, right? And... It's, you know, it does have some gray areas in it, right? And I, I hope that, you know, it can get worked out, you know, amicably, right? And they're not just, you know, totally delete channels, right? Um, so that's um, a good thing to jump into because I've done a lot of research and history on this stuff there the last few days, right? And um, so I'm going to talk about um, a loss of hours and subs for a second, right? And, one, you know, now some of you or, you know, just as smart as I am on this stuff, right? Um, and you know a lot of the reasons why, right? And I'm not, so I'm not going to talk about the common reasons. I'm going to just mention a couple of other reasons that are a little less known, 
Okay, and YouTube does not like to, to really discuss these things. They don't give you a lot of information about them, right? So, um, okay, so, you know, that's a, I hope uh, you guys don't have such a high percentage like I do, right? You know, it's about 25%, 22% or so of my subs. So, you know, I should have that many, but this many have been... Um, it, it, down below it tells you some of the reasons, but most fall into this category of other, right? So there's not a whole lot of uh, info about that, and there's not a lot of explanation from YouTube really about what, you know, that is. But, you know, so you have to, uh, that cracking noise, sorry, is the floor. Um, you have to uh, dig into some of the other, you know, dig into some other channels and some other, uh, you know, creators that are talking about this. Um, if you dig into some political stuff there, uh, anything along the conspiracy theory, which we're going to mention um, in, a, in another couple of minutes, uh, uh, you know, you'll see YouTube outright deletes, you know, channels, right? They'll outright delete subs, uh, or unsub your followers. Um, they, they do a lot of strange things, you know, they have their reasons for this, right? And I don't think it's malicious, right? You know, it's, um, and, and again, it's not youtube a person right these are like algorithms that are doing most of these things right so you know uh so let's jump to another page so there's some bad news um some of you may recall me uh making a thank you watch time thank you video and i locked it for a couple of days until i was trying to understand what was going on um that showed you and i have pictures and uh, in that video that you can see that i had like 1400 watch hours and 20,000 views, right? And today it's at 809 and 12,000, right? Um, so you're going, well, what's going on? How could you lose like 600 hours of watch time? Um, well, it's, you know, uh, again, I'm still digging into some of these things, right? I think some of it could be my fault, right? Because I leave my, my Xbox on a lot of times when I fall asleep. And, you know, my playlist would be going, I'll wake up, I'll see James' playlists on there, I'll wake up, I'll see somebody else's, you know, videos on there. Oh, so, yeah, I've um, lost a lot of uh, stuff there, right? And, you know, I'm just, uh, 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 I think um, some of these things are resetting, like, uh, while this updates daily, right? Some of these things are resetting monthly, right? So at the end of March, I saw this big boost go up, right? Where numbers or something was from, pulled in from other sources or data or um, points right um this could have something to do with pirating and in the off um account things there right you know uh also because um uh, uh all my videos are pirated every single one of them are pirated right you know and on probably more than one site right so as uh, um people think that oh well there's a bit of a debate going on it was like well do those views count or youtube as far as i know no they do not count right, um, for your stats on YouTube, right, so um, maybe though it logged in some and then YouTube said, oh, no, that's not real views or that's a pirated account and took it away, uh, you know, again, lots of uh, reasons, right, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, just moving forward, right, you know, we're not, uh, you know, there's lots of things to be happy about on my channel, as you can see, right, um, and uh, so, uh, you know, this, 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 right, you know, um, and, uh, let's, um, show you the, this is one of the most important things, guys, that, um, you know, we all need to, we all need to work on, we all need to, because if you have this number past 50%, you know, you're golden, and every creator help thing that you can find on YouTube will tell you that same thing, right, if you have this past 50%, right, you're, doing good right and I work hard to keep that up there and uh, you know I have a varying range of content but I like to try and keep it you know all uh you know happy so much for everybody right um the numbers down in the side column are the actual percentages for each uh thing right um all it takes is a couple you know that's the lowest one I have 31 percent right um there's lots that are higher as you can see um and uh, it only takes a couple to really drag down your numbers, right? So, I mean, look at all these, right? 70, 85, 63, 85, 74, 71, right? There's another low one, 43. Um, again, most of the, most of the times, because they're long videos, this, this thing here is like 16 minutes long or 
13 minutes long, right? And it's, it's you know, um, that's where I got my dislike from there too. Uh, so anyway, that's my uh, uh, stats for the present. Okay, so we'll just uh, end off the talk about um, subscriptions and that kind of stuff um, with uh, saying, you know, um, uh, you know, YouTube is trying to steer, you know, the platform out of the muck and, you know, into the light a little bit better, right? And they need our help, right? Um, we need to be making clean, good content, right? One of the new changes that... Um, you may see, you may see it's very, very soon, if you have not already, maybe some of you, right? Is that, um, while, when you go on the, if you're uploading on a computer and you go into your, um, uh, uh, what is it, your info and settings, right? You can, you can choose to monetize each video there, right? But it usually stays checked all the time, right? Um, and I believe when you do it mobilely, from a mobile, mobile app, mobilely, when you do it from a mobile app, I believe the same thing, it just is automatic that it would be monetized. Now you'll have to check a box to say that your content is ad friendly, right, for every video that you upload. Okay, so that's going to be new um, coming into the future. Um, another new thing is uh, that they're trying out, and, and again, YouTube tries a lot of different things, right? So we'll jump into notifications for a second. Um, and this does have a little bit to do with subscriptions too, right? Um, a little while back, they started a little uh, test project where they notified every single subscriber of every single like new channel under a thousand uh, subs, right? And, um, and, and then they tried it, you know, with some bigger scale things with some big, and while, yeah, there's some, you know, they don't want to talk about some of the, uh, re their reactive stuff to, to Logan Paul, right? And, you know, um, he did have a lot to do with some of the directions that YouTube has uh, has been trying to take and change. And, and again, they're being very careful, right? That's a big, huge, you know, entity that they're trying to, you know, sway here, right? You know, and it's, it's not going to happen overnight. And as you see, some of these things they did a while ago and they're just now taking effect. Again, they've recently modified the uh, notification system, right? to uh, further adapt it to what people are, or what's working for the average viewer and, and consumer and that, the, you know, is best for them to get them some advertising time and, 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 uh, and so forth, right? So there, uh, as you may have saw from my uh, video and um, they, they have another video out, those video creators have another one out that goes into further depth explaining the notification system for anybody who doesn't know um, you know, how it works or, or whatever, right? And, you know, we as small creators, so anybody that's under, you know, like 5,000 subs or, or, you know, most of us that are still uh, just at 1,000 or under, um, uh, you know, if we're getting any notification set at all, we should be kind of grateful, right? And I don't mean that to sound like it does, right? But some really big channels, right, have lost tons of notifications, right, with this new kind of algorithm change that's happened, right? Those are the guys, they're really, you know, hurting some of these big channels, right? Now, some of them, you know, have been just sitting back and, you know, letting this stuff like roll in for quite a long time, right? Now, all of a sudden, they go, oh, well, it's not just rolling in anymore, you know, I got to do something about it, right? Which is, can be a good thing, right? Um, we need a lot more of them to start, you know, acknowledging uh, 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 smaller guys, right, and remembering where they came from, right? Um, if you didn't hear the news again, uh, um, you know, this is kind of brand new as today. Um, Casey Neistat's going to come back to doing uh, daily vlogs and apparently, you know, trying to help uh, support um, uh, new creators, right? So, you know, thumbs up for him and his uh, effort for that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we look, we look forward to uh, uh, any boost that we can get. Um, so yeah, uh, notifications, um, we talked about subs, we talked about notifications, uh, a little, um, any new stuff there about that? Um, uh, the, um, um, oh, okay, so this is like a little bit of an experiment, right? Um, on the Android, um, mobile platform, right? They're starting to put animated thumbnails on 
and so maybe some of you have seen these already if you if you're watching on android systems um you know just like they have on uh, some of the desktop and uh, my youtube or my uh, xbox app has that too it shows me like a little preview of the thing right there's some um, obviously you know a couple reasons for doing that right but um one of the things that is a little less talked about right you know and um when why they're they're trying some of these things right is because of the the uh, clickbait issues right and and um while i do have a thumbnail maker and uh and and i've you know messed around with it and so forth there right um the reason i don't make kind of uh you know fancy thumbnails and stuff is because everybody kind of does that right and i don't want to be like everybody else right i want to be unique right so uh in in you know it's the philip cochran channel right so if i and so again when you go on to a lot of the creator advice channels and you know let's just talk about that one specific topic for a second thumbnails it's a huge huge thing right and i'm not saying that people shouldn't do thumbnails right i'm just talking about me what philip cochran does right you know um so Again, I started, you know, digging into this and, and educating myself on the process and everything. And I saw that all the advice was the same. They all said to, you know, make a thumbnail kind of more catchy and, and you know, visually exciting and, and clicky than the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. Well, where does this end then, right? You know, well, we end up with clickbait, you know, and we end up with these weird, dumb Photoshop pictures right you know that are um you know just so outrageous right you know but people would click on them right because they think that they're real you know and they're not right and everybody gets mad at that right and it only hurts all of us it hurts youtube it hurts the platform it hurts all creators because those things are getting views and, and our content is not right well, there's many reasons why clickbait is bad you know um and one of them is it's not uh advertiser friendly right because people are not engaging in these videos right you know um, so showing an animated thumbnail was to show like, oh, well, this video is nothing about at all what that thumbnail said, <laughs> right? And, you know, uh, so let's talk about advertising for a sec. Um, there's, uh, again, there's a lot, there's some stuff that probably, uh, I'm not saying it's hidden, but YouTube wouldn't really want you to know about, right? Well, one of, one of their biggest um, advertisers who is, uh, you know, like in responsible for like nine billion in advertising or something like that they gave them like a pretty stern warning not too long ago that said like look at you know you either clean this stuff up or or you know we're gone right you know and our nine billion dollars is gone right so that's the kind of stuff that scares youtube right and that's you know one of the reasons they're making some of these uh, changes there and stuff right you know um it's in all of our best interests right so let's you know give them some time to work these things out right and um for people like me and you right, that are making, you know, good, clean content for YouTube, we will win out of all of this, right, because the people that make garbage are going to lose, right, you know, um, and they're going to stop being rewarded by YouTube. As you can see, somebody said to me the other day, I think YouTube's rep recommending you on uh, uh, promoting you, right, and I, as much as I would like that to be, it's just the homepage algorithm making these adjustments, right? There's been some tweaks to the algorithm, right? And there's a different algorithm for each thing. There's a different algorithm for your subscription page and for your homepage and for the trending page, right? So the homepage algorithm, right, has been um, modified, right? And um, they're starting to send you, it's more adaptive to what your tastes are, right? So just to clarify, right, and your subscriptions, you should see every video that is put out by people you're subscribed to okay on your home page you're going to see what youtube algorithm is recommending to you for your um, current viewing habits okay so if you've watched three or four of my videos in a month right there's a good chance youtube's going to recommend another one of my videos to you right that'll be on the home page and that also counts for the side column that's a little bit of a different algorithm, but it's a lot based on the homepage, okay? So, you know, I like to, I like to just say the algorithm a lot of times, but there are several different ones that, you know, they are changing and they try, they try different things, right? You know, YouTube, right? They, they do experiment with these things once in a while just to see, and sometimes they, they tell us, sometimes they don't, sometimes they tell us after, you know, um, you know, if, you know, if, if there is always 
and probably always will be one criticism that we can always give to YouTube is that we want you to be more open with us, more transparent with us, and, and let's get some more feedback from, you know, the whole community, right? Not just listening to the big dogs all the time, right? So, um, there's a couple of bits of uh, uh, news, right? We talked about the ads. Just let me pause for a second. Okay, so another bit of news that's coming out. Now, they have not announced this, but I read it in an article that Susan Wojcicki did with a writer the other day. Um, and so they say very soon um, that uh, YouTube is going to start putting Wikipedia uh, articles next to videos that they consider could have fake or conspiracy theory content in it, right? So I guess an example being like um, somebody puts a video up you know, that the moon landing was faked. That's a pretty, you know, prolific, uh, you know, or Elvis was alive or something, you know. There's prolific, you know, conspiracy theories, right? And there's lots of videos about them out there, right? So beside those videos up in the side column, you're going to see like this Wikipedia. Uh, and, and I don't think they limited it to Wikipedia. I think there could be other, you know, um, uh, they didn't name other sources, but I think there could be like news articles, maybe or something like that, right? But definitely, um, you know, this uh, relationship with Wikipedia, it seems like, right? You know, we can start to call it now YouTubeopedia, right? So again, um, when pressed on you know the details of how this will work, you know, how is the algorithm going to apply these things to the system? They said that they will not release that information, right? So um, again, I'm I'm trying to give them the benefit of the of the doubt here, right? That um, they're trying to do the right thing as far as um, you know, um, uh, giving people, you know, some options and viewpoint, right? So again, this got has a little bit to do with the notification system and the home page that I talked about a minute ago before, right? So let's say you start watching a video about the moon landing or Elvis or something like that, right? And, you know, as people have been complaining to YouTube, right, that every video down on the side is now all about, you know, the Elvis thing is, you know, that's, or the moon landing, and that's the only option that YouTube is giving, given you as a next video to click on right? Remember, they want to keep you on YouTube. That's their whole goal, is to keep you on YouTube, right? So they've noticed that, well, if they do that, you're more than, you're just as more than likely to, 50% of you will click another video on Elvis or Moon Landing, and then 50% of you will click off of YouTube and go, oh, I don't want to see all that. I only wanted to see that one thing about Elvis, right? Because it looked funny or whatever, right? You know, um, so they're going to put some countering things there right you know somebody's maybe they'll counter with another video that says that no you know Elvis died here and it's been documented and you know and so forth right or you know another person that's opposing the moon landing conspiracy theory right um, so I think that's um, pretty new um, I, uh, I would like to hear if anybody has seen anything like this yet um, I'd like to know as soon as they do see something like this, right? Because um, it's, uh, it's, I'm curious about it, right? Um, as I'm sure a lot of you are. Okay, so we're just going to wrap things up today. I just want to say thank you again to all of you, all of my supporters, right? And to YouTube. Um, you know, they're, uh, they're trying to do the right thing, I think, with this, right? I know it's, um, it's upset some people. There's still a little bit of uh, gray areas in some places. Everything they do... You know, doesn't always make me happy, right? But um, you know, I see um, in the in the uh, you know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? And I believe that they do have good intentions, right? You know, it's not just um, uh, they want the best thing for everybody on this on this whole platform, right? And it's and it's basically an impossible task, isn't it, to keep everybody happy? You know, and if you try and do that, you're definitely gonna uh, make some people unhappy. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts for today. Thank you, Ivan Enzo. Excellent. <laughs>